Well, I tried to uh, figure out how to get that broken tap out. There wasn't enough protruding out to uh, grab a hold of. So I just uh, kind of sanded it flat on the belt sander and uh, tried to uh, see if I could drill it out, but that was no good. Didn't have the right type of bit for that. So I ordered a uh, 632 tap extractor from McMaster Car, but it was uh, the weekend. <coughs> and it will be several days before I could get it in here. So I just decided to try to make another part. And this one came out successful. I've already got it tapped. Instead of using the uh, drill to tap the holes, I used a hand tap. And I used a uh, regular taper tap to start start the threads and then finished it with the, took the broken tap and hit the end on the belt sander to make it flat and used it like a bottom tap and marked the depth on the tap so I wouldn't try to go too far. So it turned out good. So let's get this thing put together and see how it's going to, uh, see how it's going to work. Looks real good. Don't appear to be any, any leaks at all. We're holding 27 inches of vacuum on the gauge. So that's pretty darn good. So the next thing to do is take the other plate and go ahead and mill it for the part. And of course we got to drill these holes out that we epoxied so we can screw this on. I think as far as the suction coming through, through these two holes here, what I might do is, not, instead of drilling all the way through, drill through and then drill through the edge of this pin so the suction comes out around the side of this uh, recess here. Not quite sure yet. Before we mill the uh, part C for the actual part, we're going to mill the underside of it a uh, eighth inch deep recess for the suction to go into so that's what we'll get ready to do now Alright, we're getting ready to mill the top side of this part now, part C.
Well, let's try this the old-fashioned way with clamps. What I should have done was filled that hole and then I probably could have held it on the vacuum which I'm going to have to do anyway because I'm going to mill a grid <coughs> excuse me I'm going to mill a grid on this these two halves here so I'm going to have to be able to hold it down and I don't think I have room to put any clamps on there so I'm going to try to seal that hole up and see what we can do with that. No more hole. Okay, we've got that part, part C, back onto the vacuum fixture now. Since we uh, plugged that hole up, the vacuum is holding pretty good from what I can see from here. The gauge is reading uh, 27 inches of vacuum. So we can't get a whole lot better than that. So. 
Got the bit changed and centered up to the 764 for the grid. There's the grid pattern in Mach 3. So we're ready to roll. According to the simulation, it's going to take about almost an hour and a half. So we'll hit some highlights of it. Right now I've got the program set for uh, 10 inches a minute feed speed and uh, 8,000 depth of cut and 7,200 RPM. Turned out pretty good. <laughs> 